But for the High Court, Susan Ngjalingo has commenced hearing on the suit seeking the disqualification of the governorship candidates of APC and that of the PDP in the state. The governorship as parent under the banner of APC, David Kente, approached the court seeking the disqualification of Senator Emmanuel Bwacha in the forthcoming election, stressing that the claimed party primaries that allegedly produced him never held in line with electoral act. Also, a PDP government transparent, Mr. Jerome Iyame, instituted a suit seeking the immediate disqualification of Kefas Agu on the ground that it did not purchase the expression of interest and nomination forms of the party. On the basis of the nature of uh, process used to commence the action, it could be said that all the processes are in. But there are a series of um, anomalies with the case which we have brought to the attention of the courts. So depending on how things go between now and the next adjourned date, the case may or may not proceed to outright hearing. We are here today to reclaim the mandate of the professor before the Federal High Court. We are ready with our witnesses. We inform the court we have our witnesses to prove our case. But uh, the defendants are obviously not ready because uh, they brought some objections which they just brought this morning. And so the court cannot proceed with hearing as a result of uh, their objection. So uh, for us, we are ready to call our witnesses and prove our case. Uh, we will respond to the objection they have brought and proceed with the hearing of our case uh, on the 14th day of July 2022. Uh, Senator Bacha came and said, I've been served, but he was placed at the wrong place. So she said, don't worry, we are not going to start argument over where you were served or whether you were served. You are here now, isn't it? That's the important thing. Take the paper. Lawyer, take the paper. So he has taken the paper today in, the, in front of the court. Now, what has happened is, None of them has served us anything requiring us to respond. To the court today, appearing under protest, say, look, my noble lord, your order was not complied with, and an order of subsistence service must be strictly complied with. It's an order of court. Every order of court needs to be obeyed. So that was the position. And my little friend on the other side, the letter essay, agreed with us. I said, in that case, if you could be served in court. And I said, yeah. I could be served on court, but on one condition. If you're not going to apply for any adverse order against my client. And he gave us that undertaking that he would not, as a gentleman. And I agreed. And he could order that we should be Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.